volunteer with a lot of little kids who who were always touching it. And it gets really hot when it's all down your back like that. Um, and I won't, I won't have to spend so much on shampoo. I don't know, it's a change. It's a big change. Everyone's gonna call me out. I don't know. I told Joan about some feelings I've been having. Not anything serious, just about a girl or two or six. And she totally fucking freaked. I mean, not outwardly, but I could tell. And now, every time I see her, she keeps asking me how I'm doing. Like, if I'm grieving properly. Whatever, it's probably because of her freak boyfriend. Thinks he's like, the skater version of Freud. <laughs> Whatever, fuck Dave. Shit. This is gonna be a bitch to clean up. pretty loyal friend. Dave asked me out to the skate park, but I said no because I'd already made plans with Ramona. I had to tell my boyfriend no. Ramona and I talked about getting ice cream, but I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Even Dave has noticed. When a boy can tell, you know it's serious. But also, you can't just puke your food because your dad died. But, you know, we don't talk about that except for when people are smoking cigarettes. Oh my god, she got so mad just how the camels they've got for me. I mean, they were literally a gift from my boyfriend. And she was even madder than my parents, and they made a whole thing about it. I basically started crying because it was so dumb. And also because I don't like people being mad at me, which is normal and healthy. I think I'd make a really great psychologist if I decide to stay alive after college. I've been basically giving Ramona free therapy, and I think it's really helping her. She still won't say which girls at school she thinks are hot, but it's probably because she thinks I am and doesn't want to weird me out. I wouldn't be weirded out, though. I've been on the school hot list since sophomore year. Hi, uh, what did you do to your head? What do you think? I know, I, I cut it. Is it bad? It's bad, right? I just... Is it? I'm not. Is it crazy? I like it. I just can't believe you'd do this to me. I thought if you ever pulled a Britney, we'd do it together. It was just time for a change. And I, I wanted to cut it. Is this because of your dad? Are you okay? How are you feeling? God! Joan! You have to stop talking about my dad. You're not a grief counselor. You've literally had two months of AP Psych. You're lashing out at me because you feel invalidated. I'm sorry you feel that way, but you caught me off guard, and that's how I reacted. I'm not invalidated, okay? Stop talking like that. Does your mom know? Yeah, my mom knows. I mean, she took me to the haircut place. Why is it bad? No, it's not ugly, but it's really short. Your mom was okay with it? My mom doesn't own my hair, okay? So even if she wasn't okay with it, which... She was, and she took me to the haircut place. It, it wouldn't matter because I'm empowered to have my body hair however I like. Are you coming out? You are so obsessed with me. You're so overdramatic. I never said you were your mom's property, but she has a right to know what's going on with you if you're unhealthy. Getting a haircut isn't unhealthy, okay? It's called catharsis, which you'd know if you kept up with the reading for your AP fucking psych class. And besides, Joni... You smoke. Those cigarettes were a gift from Dave, and you know that. You don't get to lecture me about what is and isn't healthy. Does your mom know about your eating problem then? Does your mom know about yours? I care about you because you're my best friend, and I want you to know that you don't need to keep acting out sexually because your dad got cancer and died. What if you started dating Poppy? I mean, I'm always careful around her because I heard she swings that way. Um, just like, Ramona, listen, if I was gay, I would tell you. Oh, are you coming out to me now? Because that's very brave, Joni. 
but you just assume all of these things are totally true and it's super uncute. It's not assuming if there's evidence to back it up, but I'm sorry for pointing out something that's clearly an insecurity for you. Are you okay? <laughs> Everyone's gonna think that my haircut means I'm gay now, right? I mean, you made such a big deal out of it. I did not make a big deal out of it. Everyone's gonna make such a big deal out of it, and yes, you did, that's a fucking fact. I can't believe I blew off plans with Dave to hang out with you. Why are you being so awful today? And then you just come in here, bald, saying that I'm awful? What kind of karmic bullshit, Ramona? Oh, I'm so sorry that you had to hang out with your best friend instead of the guy you've been making out with for two months. Shut up. My parents don't know I've been making out with him. They so know. They probably think you're fucking him. I'm not, though. But he wants to, right? What? Uh, yeah. I mean, of course he wants to have sex with you. M most guys have girlfriends in high school so they can have sex with them. That's like healthy adolescent behavior. I mean, he's literally a teenage boy. And according to society, sex is like a teenage skater boy, look at all the stabs on my knees and supreme gear priority. Do you want to have sex with him? I haven't thought about it. <laughs> That's the funniest thing you've ever said. Thanks. Look at me. I'm Joni. Wafting in virginity. Won't go to bed because I'm sick in the head. Oh no. I'm Joni. Do you want to get fucked? It would depend on the situation and stuff, and the time, and if I'm stressed out because of where we are. And you really don't have sex with him at all, do you? If everything was okay, then I think I would want to. Gay? I thought he was fun. And we sat at the same table in math, and, and then and we started, started hanging, hanging out, out, and, and I thought friends. we were friends, but then he kissed me, kissed so you. we had to be boyfriend, girlfriend, and now he keeps squeezing my boobs whenever we kiss goodbye. Oh, the boobs thing is new. Can you feel the socks that you stuff in your bra? Ramona, help. You should, like, break up with him. But we still have math together. Everyone will know. Staying in a relationship with someone because you're in the same class together is literally the dumbest high school bullshit I've ever heard. God, Joni. I mean, to be a corn person. You're so right. I hate cigarettes. And Dave kind of disgusts me now, and I think he's becoming a drug dealer. I really need to extract myself from him. Okay. I hear you. I hear your needs. And what your needs are telling me is that you need to give me your cell phone so I can break up with him for you. No offense, Ron, but what do you even know about breaking up with people? Like, Ben broke up with you, and then Steve broke up with you, and then Mark broke up with you. I get it. Okay. No boy wants to stay with me for more than a week. <laughs> Fuck him and duck him, boys. Mm -hmm. God, Ramona, is that why you're into girls now? I... Just don't want to talk about it, okay? You need to understand that I'm an adult now and you don't get to dictate who I do and don't hook up with. And besides, we don't have time to get into it anyway. I have to be home by 10. And look, Joni, even if I was into girls, it's, it's not like I would be into you. What? <laughs> oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Kiss and make up. Like always. Joan ended up having sex with Dave. She hated it. And then she found out that he gave a blowjob to Nick B in the art room. Dave ended up going to some liberal arts school, so he's totally gay now. Joan never really dated anyone in high school after that. I mean, she got really into Lana Del Rey and tried to kill herself, so. She's fine now. She ended up at some state school where she could join a sorority. Delta Gamma never knew what they were getting themselves into. You can still catch her student-run radio show, Grown to Joan over the phone. I called in once. Under a fake name, obviously. <laughs> she told me that I probably have pulmonary artery disease and depression. <laughs> she was right. Ramona wasn't bulimic, or gay. 
She told everyone that she was queer for a while, but then she said she was bisexual because calling herself queer was bi erasure. She started writing a gossip blog about everyone in school, but when they found out that she was writing it, they stopped reading and graffitied her locker. She kept writing though and moved to New York City. Now all she does is tweet about how she can never afford food and she got YOLO tattooed on her knuckles. But other than that, I'd say she's fine. One time she called into my award-winning local radio broadcast and I'm glad I was finally able to give her the help that she needed. Like I said, I'm a pretty loyal friend. Thank you.